Hi, this is Ike from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today, book is 101 Dalmatian from 1981. So let's get started. Once there was 10 Dalmatian puppies. Pago was their father. Pitchery was their mother. They all lived in a house in the city with two very nice people. One day, the puppies went for a walk. A woman named Corella was going by in her car. Corella was a dog thief. As soon as she saw the puppies, she stopped to count them. Ten, she cried. Ten Dalmatian puppies. I must have them all. Two men worked for Corella. Their name was Horse and Jasper. Horse was short, fat, and dumb. Jasper was tall, thin, and dumb. I want those puppies, she told them. Get them tonight. That night, Jasper and Horse sneaked into the house where the Dalmatian lived. Everyone was asleep. They put the puppies in a bag, in a, in a big black bag. Then they climbed out the window. The puppies began to bark inside the bag. Pago and Petri woke up. The basket went empty. The puppy was gone. Where are the puppies? cried Petri. I don't know, said Pago. Then Pago had an idea. We will send a message to all the dogs in the city. He said, maybe someone has seen our puppies. So Pago sent the message. The message went from dog to dog. A howl, a growl, a yip, a yep. The Mason puppy needs your help. A bark, a woof, a long bow wow. Find our puppies, find them now. Soon all the dogs in the city were barking. In an old barn near the city, there lived a horse named Captain, a dog named Colonel, and a cat named Sergeant Tibbs. That night they heard barking. It was coming from the city. It's a message, said Colonel. Someone is looking for Dalmatian puppies. None here, sure, said Tib. Then they heard more barking. It's coming from a house down the road. Sound like puppies, said Colonel. I believe you're right, said Tib. Then we must go and see if they are Dalmatian puppies, said the, said the Colonel. Why do we have to do that, asked the captain. Because of the message, said Tibbs. They marched down the road and up to the old house. The barking got louder and louder. How odd, said the colonel. There is a light in one window. Why is that so odd, asked the captain. Because no one lives here, said Tibbs. They went to the window and peeked in. The room was filled with Jamaican puppies. A man was holding a big black bag. It was filled with ten more the Mason puppies. A woman in a fur coat was saying, Now I have 99 Dalmatian puppies. Tomorrow I will sell all of them to the circus, and three of us will be rich. The three animals raced back to the barn. Then the colonel sent the message, calling all dogs, every mutt and hound, the Dalmatian puppies have been found. A yep, a yep, a short bow wow, come and save them, come right now. Soon the city dogs were barking again. At last the message came to Pago and Petri. The puppies have been found, cried Pago. We must go and save them, and they jumped out the window. Petri, no, Pago and Petri ran through the city. The city dogs met them. Along the way, they told Pago and Petri how to get how to get to the old barn. When the colonel saw them coming, he called them. Are you looking for the Dalmatian puppies? Yes, they called back. Then follow us, said the colonel. They are in a old house down the road. So Pago and Petri followed the colonel, the captain and Sergeant Tibbs. Mm-hmm. 
Pago and Petri went into the old house. They saw two men with their puppies. The two men saw them. Well, look who's here, said Jasper. Two big ones. We'll take care of them, won't we? Pago growled and leaped at Jasper. He bit into Jasper's jacket. He pulled it over Jasper's head. Jasper could not see where he was going. Now Tib leaped into the air. Meow, screeched Tibbs. He landed on Horse's head. Horse was too scared to do anything. Then Pitchy pulled the rug right out from under the two men. Jasper and Horse crashed to the floor. They were too surprised to move. That takes care of them, said Petri. Now where are our puppies? Here we are, cried one puppy. All 99 of us. 99 puppy, cried Pago. But there was no time to ask questions. Pago and Petri let all 99 puppies out of the house. They began to walk back to the city. Suddenly they saw a woman in the car. It was Corilla. Somebody stops those dogs, she cried. I have to sell them to the circus. When Pago and Petri heard this, they hid the puppies in the shed. Corilla looked all around. Now where did those little spotted creep, creeps go, she said. Pago and Petri were scared. How could they get out? Look, Mom, said one of the puppies. She was rowing in a pile of soot. There's no time to play, said Petri. We have to think of a way to get out. Then Petri thought of a way to get out. She told all the puppies to row in the soot. Soon they would all cover with soot. Pago and Petri led the puppies outside. They would right, they went right past Corilla. Corilla paid no attention to them. She was looking for white puppies with black spot, not gray puppies. They got into a truck that was parked outside. Just as the last puppy would get in, then Corilla cried, "Eek!" Half of the puppy was gray, but the half of the puppy was white with black spots. Just then the truck drove away. Stop, stop, shouted Corella. Come back with my puppies. But the truck driver did not hear her. He was on his way to the city, and that is how the Dalmatian got home. The two nice people who lived in the house was happy to see them. They was also a bit surprised their family had grown. Now there are Pago and Petri and 99 puppies, 101 Dalmatian and all. It was nice. It was a good thing they were very nice people. So that was 101 Dalmatian for 1981. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.